Part 1. Understanding the Apocalypse The concept of the apocalypse, derived from the Greek word apocalypsis, meaning revelation or unveiling, forms a core component of Christian eschatology. As described in the book of Revelation, the last book of the New Testament, the apocalypse unfolds through a series of divine judgments and visions revealed to John of Patmos. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, Revelation chapter 1 verse 1, sets the stage for a prophetic journey through the end times. The narrative structure of the apocalypse is segmented into various stages, marked by the opening of seven seals by the Lamb, whom Christians recognize as Jesus Christ. These seals, found on a sacred scroll in the right hand of him who sits on the throne, each unleash a different aspect of the end times upon the earth. The first four seals introduce the four horsemen, bringing calamity in distinct forms, conquest, war, famine, and death. As each seal is broken, a dramatic event unfolds, progressively intensifying the turmoil on earth. This unveiling is not merely a forecast of destruction, but serves as a divine judgment and a call to repentance, emphasizing the transient nature of earthly power and the eternal sovereignty of God. The stages are strategically designed to bring humanity to an acknowledgement of divine authority, culminating in the final judgment and the establishment of a new heaven and new earth, as promised in Revelation. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Revelation chapter 21 verse 1. In the face of these revelations, believers are called to steadfast faith and endurance, confronting the reality of these prophecies with both awe and reverence. The palpable tension between earthly existence and the supernatural realm underscores the profound spiritual journey towards redemption and salvation, marking the apocalypse not just as an end, but a divine beginning. As the first four of these seals are broken, the emergence of the four horsemen marks the initial phases of this eschatological sequence. Their arrival is a pivotal moment in the apocalypse, each horseman a herald of the particular judgments that embody the challenges humanity will face as the end times unfold. This dramatic depiction serves as a chilling reminder of the power and mystery enveloping the final days. Part 2. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse As the seals of the sacred scroll are broken one by one by the Lamb, the four horsemen of the Apocalypse are summoned, each heralding a unique form of calamity. Their appearances and the symbols they carry are rich in meaning and deeply embedded in Christian iconography, serving as stark reminders of the frailties and sins of humanity. The white horseman emerges first, as described in Revelation chapter 6, verse 2. And I looked, and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Clad in resplendent white, often associated with righteousness in scripture, this horseman's appearance initially suggests purity. However, the bow and crown introduce a dual symbolism of conquest and possibly deceit, pointing to an ambiguous figure who could be seen as Christ-like or as a deceiver like the Antichrist. This rider initiates the apocalypse 
with an air of triumph and dominion, setting a tone of divine authority and unsettling power. Following the white horse is the red horseman, who rides in with the authority to take peace from the earth and make men slay each other, as stated in Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. The fiery red horse symbolizes blood and war. This horseman's great sword amplifies the imminent violence, depicting an escalation in human conflict and divine retribution through warfare. The third seal reveals the black horseman, accompanied by a pair of balances or scales in hand. Revelation chapter 6, verse 5. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the oil and the wine. This dark figure symbolizes famine. The scales indicate the rationing of food, a direct contrast to the abundance taken for granted, underscoring the severity of the famine that will grip the earth. His spectral presence on a black horse portrays the grim reality of scarcity and the despair that follows. Lastly, the pale horseman appears, a figure so closely associated with death that Hades follows in his wake, fulfilling the prophecy in Revelation, chapter 6, verse 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. This horseman's ashen color captures the essence of decay and the inevitability of death. He unifies the themes of the preceding horseman, wielding power over life itself through the means of war, famine, and plague. Part 3. The Four Horsemen in Art The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, as detailed in the Book of Revelation, have transcended their biblical origins to become iconic figures in popular culture and art. This imagery has been particularly resonant, weaving its way through various mediums and interpretations that range from the ominous to the reflective, each adaptation adding layers to their mythos. In the realm of visual arts, the horsemen have been a compelling subject for centuries. Artists like Albrecht Dürer and Viktor Vasnetsov have portrayed them in dramatic and evocative works that capture their menacing and allegorical nature. Dürer's woodcut, The Four Horsemen, for instance, vividly illustrates the raw power and dread they inspire, encapsulating the turmoil and fear of the end times in stark, monochrome lines. In literature, the horsemen have been portrayed in ways that both adhere to and deviate from their scriptural descriptions. They appear in various forms in novels and poetry, often used to symbolize the human-made catastrophes of war, famine, and death, as seen in works like Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett's Good Omens, or Piers Anthony's Incarnations of Immortality series. These interpretations often reflect contemporary anxieties and critique societal and moral issues, thus broadening the scope of the horsemen beyond religious texts. Part four, debunking common misconceptions about the four horsemen. As figures steeped in both religious scripture and popular mythology, 
the four horsemen of the apocalypse are often misunderstood. These misconceptions can shape our perception of biblical prophecy and its interpretation in modern culture. Let's clarify some of the most common errors. Firstly, the identity of the white horseman is frequently misinterpreted. Popular culture sometimes identifies him as Christ because of the later depiction of Christ on a white horse in Revelation 19. However, in the context of the four horsemen, the white horseman, equipped with a bow and a crown and tasked with conquest, more likely symbolizes deceptive leadership, potentially aligning him with the Antichrist rather than Christ. Secondly, the first horseman is often called pestilence in modern narratives, but the book of Revelation does not mention disease as his tool. He carries a bow and is crowned, suggesting conquest and perhaps the spread of ideological or political strife rather than literal disease. The label of pestilence likely emerged from historical interpretations focused on the impacts of disease on human history, particularly before significant medical advancements. Moreover, there is a tendency to view the horsemen as having equal roles and impacts. However, scripture assigns a uniquely extensive power to the pale horseman, death, who is said to have authority over a fourth of the earth with the powers of sword, famine, pestilence, and wild beasts. Finally, while they are often depicted as acting independently, the four horsemen should be seen as interconnected agents of apocalypse. Their actions compound and build upon one another, reflecting the cumulative and escalating nature of divine judgment.